100 Years of Solitude, is a landmark 1967 novel by Colombian author Gabriel Garcia Marquez that tells the multi generational story of the Buindia family, whose patriarch, Jose Arcadio Buindia, founded the town of Macondo, a fictitious town in the country of Colombia. The magical realist style and thematic substance of 100 Years of Solitude established it as an important representative novel of the literary Latin American boom of the 1960s and 1970s, which was stylistically influenced by modernism, European and North American, and the Cuban vanguardia, avant-garde, literary movement. Since it was first published in May 1967 in Buenos Aires by Editorial Sudamericana, 100 Years of Solitude has been translated into 37 languages and sold more than 50 million copies. The novel, considered Garcia Marquez's magnum opus, remains widely acclaimed and is recognized as one of the most significant works in the Spanish literary canon. A dominant theme in 100 Years of Solitude is the inevitable and inescapable repetition of history in Macondo. The protagonists are controlled by their pasts and the complexity of time. Plot Summary 100 Years of Solitude is the story of seven generations of the Buindia family in the town of Macondo. The founding patriarch of Macondo, Jose Arcadio Buindia, and Ursula Iguaran. His wife, and first cousin, leave Riacha, Colombia. After Jose Arcadio kills Prudencio Aguila after a cockfight for suggesting Jose Arcadio was impotent, one night of their emigration journey, while camping on the riverbank, Jose Arcadio dreams of Macondo, a city of mirrors that reflected the world in and about it. Upon awakening, he decides to establish Macondo at the riverside. After days of wandering the jungle, his founding of Macondo is utopic. Jose Arcadio Buendia believes Macondo to be surrounded by water, and from that island. He invents the world according to his perceptions. Soon after its foundation, Macondo becomes a town frequented by unusual and extraordinary events that involve the generations of the Buendia family, who are unable or unwilling to escape their periodic, mostly self-inflicted, misfortunes. For years the town is solitary and unconnected to the outside world, with the exception of the annual visit of a band of gypsies, who show the town's people technology such as magnets, telescopes, and ice. The leader of the gypsies, a man named Melchiades, maintains a close friendship with Jose Arcadio, who becomes increasingly withdrawn, obsessed with investigating the mysteries of the universe presented to him by the gypsies. Ultimately he is driven insane, speaking only in Latin, and is tied to a chestnut tree by his family for many years until his death. Eventually Macondo becomes exposed to the outside world and the government of newly independent Colombia. A rigged election between the conservative and liberal parties is held in town. Inspiring Aureliano Buendia to join a civil war against the conservative government. He becomes an iconic revolutionary leader, fighting for many years and surviving multiple attempts on his life. But ultimately tires of war and signs a peace treaty with the conservatives. Disillusioned, he returns to Macondo and spends the rest of his life making tiny goldfish in his workshop. The railroad comes to Macondo, bringing in new technology and many foreign settlers. An American fruit company constructs a banana plantation outside the town and builds its own segregated village across the river. This ushers in a period of prosperity that ends in tragedy as the Colombian army massacres thousands of striking plantation workers, an incident based on the banana massacre of 1928. Jose Arcadio Segundo, the only survivor of the massacre, finds no evidence of the massacre and the surviving townspeople refuse to believe it happened. By the novel's end, Macondo has fallen into a decrepit and near-abandoned state, with the only remaining Buendias being Amaranto Asolo and her nephew Aureliano. Aureliano's parentage is hidden by his grandmother Fernanda, and he and Amaranto Asolo unknowingly begin an incestuous relationship. They have a child who bears the tail of a pig. Fulfilling the lifelong fear of the long-dead matriarch Asolo. 
Amaranta Asula dies in childbirth and the child is devoured by ants. Leaving Aureliano as the last member of the family. He decodes an encryption Melchiades left behind in a manuscript generations ago. The secret message informs the recipient of every fortune and misfortune the Buindia family's generations lived through. As he reads the manuscript, a wind destroys all traces of Macondo's existence. End of the summary. Thank you.